Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Capricorn for the month of May. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. But if you still don't find them there, then simply check back with me in the following week when I put out new messages for your sign. Okay, this is like um, something something happened and uh, it was very very painful because the three of swords uh, is here in the central and it is in a, above energies but it has already happened I feel um, and something you may have discovered something that caused this um, this heartbreak um, in this partnership. It feels like it's like you were seeing it one way, but it's like you're how you saw that. You thought that you were on the same level with this person, that you had the same goals in mind. You thought that this was um, your life partner but this seems to have been shattered and you're having to be very strong now you do have some details here um, but uh, the eagle can um, represent uh, that you may need to uh, or that you're trying to yeah you're trying to look at the larger picture to see where all of this is going. There is, there are things you don't know with the mother here. Um, you, um, you can have fear here. Of facing something you know intuitively you might feel that something is off and you fear having to face that because that brings heartbreak or pain to you having to do with this union yeah and you could be married to this person you might even have children with this person this should have been your happily ever after but right now in this moment it's not feeling that way it feels like somebody could be deceiving you you feel like a, a victim clearly because this emperor is holding the sacrificial lamb and um, this is also a card of a victim or feeling like a victim with the executioner at your back here somebody who may possibly have deliberately kept you blind to something Now, you don't have to have been married and had a family. That could have been your vision of what you wanted with that person. Because it's like you had a vision and now that vision gets shattered. The, t the, the two main key players here in this reading are the moon, which is uh, repeating here, and the three of swords repeating here. They're together, together. They bridge. And it's like um, maybe you're keeping your heartbreak uh, hidden for the moment. Um, and it's like you, it's like you, you go within, you retreat, you withdraw. You try to shed light on 
on this situation. Um, you don't want it to end. It's almost like, what was I thinking? I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking. This is what I'm hearing. It's like a... You lost your head with the seeker. So the seeker, you see, when he's in the upright, he loses his head because he's overthinking something. You know, his head's on the ground and he must rely on his intuition to lead him. But in the reverse, I mean, clearly, um, he didn't think at all. Maybe, maybe your intuition is off. Or maybe it's something you've been denying, only seeing it your way, your vision. About how, you know, this was going to go. So here I have the King of Swords. So this could be passing judgment, judging. Um, this could be somebody or something that has power over you in some way. Um, it could be uh, seeking the truth about what's really happening between this couple. Um, the Three of Swords is next. Um, so what's happening with this couple, uh, we're looking at the back of the Three of Swords. Uh, this is a very stormy situation um, that brings heartbreak. Um, the initial hopes you had for the vision turn to disappointment. Um, it could be uh, meetings or reunions that uh, finish badly. So there could have been a reunion. Um, there could have been a reunion where there was an attempt to get to the truth of what was going on here. It could have ended badly. Um, it could have been, it could have ended badly because you felt w wounded or they felt wounded. Um, yeah. You could be regrouping. Um, regrouping, uh, looking back to the past. Um, it could be um, gathering the courage to try to resolve the challenge that you're facing here. Perhaps uh, there needs to be a willingness uh, to compromise here or to understand something here. I see all of the, the moon, the heartbreak, but I don't see, um, I don't see any actual deception. I see this is related to your thoughts. What I do see, what I do see here in the future is that there is some unexpected news and I feel um, 
that I feel that this news here uh, maybe explains things or or brings you um, it brings you the ace of cups so it brings you fulfillment it brings you joy so maybe you find out here that you were wrong about whatever you were thinking back there because the ace of cups speaks to joy and happiness and fulfillment and that's what is coming to you that is what is brought to you unexpectedly you weren't expecting it so this could be about somebody um, somebody's fears who get the best of them fears that creep out from under the bed things in the night there are all kinds of ghosts <laughs> ghosts and monsters in the night in the day everything looks different doesn't it so I, I kind of feel it's like that you know it's like uh, something you felt something was off with this Knight of Cups. And you feared the worst. And it led to, um, you know, it's like a domino, a domino effect. <laughs> so it led to a lot of problems and heartbreak. But in the end, I feel that it was just that, a fear. Yeah. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who um, who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings.